guys to another edition of RSTS Express Wrestling. I'm your boy MVP Shear 13R88. The person you see on the screen is the Mad Scientist 7890. We're back here for a preview of sorts. We're going to preview uh, ROH's Tag Wars 2012. I mean, 10th anniversary show. Let's get right into the card, Mr. Jarvis. First match, special attraction, Notorious 187 Homicide versus the Prodigy Mike Bennett with Brutal Bob and Maria Kanellis. Where do you see this match going? Who do you see winning this match? Uh, the care factor in this match is, is literally uh, maybe a 9% out of 100. Um, <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter to me. I know that the crowd's going to hate Bennett because the New York crowd just shits all over Bennett, and they're going to totally be on <laughs> Homicide's side because they're in New York. That's all I see out of this. Um, I'd love to see Bennett win here in the crowd, just just shit all over him. Um, so I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, I, 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 the sight of just Maria is is, is getting him over, um, <laughs> just by itself. Um, if you haven't seen his uh, pro, the Prodigy public service announcement videos, they're actually pretty good. They're actually he's actually been doing a really good job cutting promos and doing just different stuff like that. Um, it's just his wrestling, uh, you know, is not up to par with the Ring of Honor standards. But, uh, you know, I don't expect really that much from this. I kind of, um, yeah, I kind of don't care if I miss this, really, honestly. I don't I don't either. I, I mean, I think Mike Bennett should win. I mean, that's quite obvious. I mean, yeah. I, the biggest thing for me in this match is, is Julius Smokes coming back. Like, that's all I care about. I, just, <laughs> I want to, yeah, I want to see him on my screen, like, you know, like, doing, like, just random bird motions and shit i know it's not the vulture squad but i mean that's that's his gimmick so uh yeah i really i really don't give don't give a fuck idgaf i guess as the new kids said i I don't care i think bennett should win i could see homicide winning but he shouldn't all right next match glory bonner 10 tag team rematch wrestling's greatest tag team self-proclaimed charlie hoss and shelf benjamin versus the all-night express of red titus and kenny king you know looking at this match I think that ANX should win, and then Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team should kind of lose it on them again because that's, I guess, the gimmick they're going with now. They're they're losing it and getting fined. I think ANX will pull out. Uh, I don't think the match is going to be that great, especially with Red Titus uh, just now coming back. But I, f- I feel like it'll be you know closely contested, and they'll maybe pull out somewhat of a fluke win, and then Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team will snap. How do you see that going? Well, this is the first of many tag matches on Tag Wars 2012 tonight. Um, <laughs> four of them. Four, yes. You could really just see the just Jim Cornette just influence. Just well, like one good singles match, too. That's my biggest uh, problem with this card, but we um, can talk about that. You know, and it's not like the matches are going to be bad. I don't think they're going to be bad. It's just there's way too many. Um, right, no, it looks good. Like, I have no problem with it if it was, you know, a B show in Cincinnati or something. But go ahead. <laughs> um yeah, no, I'm an All Light Express fan. I like them, uh, you know, a lot more than Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team right now. I don't expect a lot out of this. Um, I would expect Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team to get the win here just because they lost at the last pay-per-view. I see them going into continuing a feud, possibly with the Briscoes, and then seeing the Young Bucks feud with All Night, who the Young Bucks took out All Night Express, or took out Rhett Titus at least. So I, I would see this just a one-off, you know, rematch. Um would hope to see something a little bit out of this, but I don't expect this to go very long, honestly. Yeah, especially now with Red Titus coming back. I, I mean, I see it being a decent, but not anything special. So, I mean, I guess we will see. Next up, we got a special attraction tag team match. The Amazing Red and Technical Lightning TJ Perkins <laughs> versus the House of Truth of Unbreakable Michael Elgin and Roger Strong with Truth Martini. Now, this match, I really think if... if, if the result is anything but Strong and Elgin winning. It's just completely retarded. I think Strong and Elgin should be built up as a force. I think they're, in the long run, eyeing the tag team titles, and I think that would be good for them. I like the complexion of having Strong and Elgin as a tag team. I actually enjoy that. Um, Amazing Red and TJ Perkins just kind of thrown together to do some flips and, you know, to bump well. I, I, see, this as, I see this could be a pretty good match. If everyone comes... You know, prepared to wrestle and comes prepared to perform. I can see this being a show stealing type of match, like one of the you know, one of the top matches on the entire show, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely can see that. I mean, with the amount of talent you have in this, this really the match. This match really lies on Michael Elgin. 
um, you know, what he's willing to do and what he can do with these smaller guys. He, you know, Michael Elgin's, you know, I can see him being like, you know, how El- how strong was with, with these smaller guys like Jack Evans where he just does all kinds of amazing things with these smaller guys and it, the match really could rely on what haven't we seen, you know, Amazing Red and, and, and TJ Perkins, you know, do. I mean, they can do flips and all kinds of stuff, but what, what haven't we seen that Elgin can do to them? You know, he could, what, lift right. up two or three guys at once and flip them in the air and kick them in their balls and do all kinds of different stuff because he's a big <laughs> guy. And he's like that strong style guy who who works good with small guys now. You know, before it was Claudio. Um, he's not there anymore. Um, but, you know, you have an, El- an, El- an Elgin, and, and basically the guy – is a good big man, and, and I think every company really needs a good big man, and he's definitely one of those guys, and I think it relies on his totally on his hands to how this match goes because, obviously, you know, we've seen Red face strong, and we've seen TJ Perkins in matches with strong, and we've seen all these guys. We really haven't seen Elgin with these smaller guys and what he can do, so I think it relies definitely on what he can do. Elgin is a complete powerhouse, and so, you know, anytime he works with smaller opponents, it's going to be good stuff. All right, next match, we have a no DQ grudge match. Jimmy Jacobs is taking on wrestling's worst nightmare, Kevin Steen. I see this going one or two ways. I see either Steen just winning and just murdering Jacobs at the end, or I see it playing out as an angle. Um, I really, I saw Steen's last, I saw both their last promos, actually, but I saw Steen's last promo where he says, you know, it's 10th anniversary, you know, I wish I was celebrating it with you and Carino, and we were, you know, shaping Ring of Honor in our image. And I think that could lead into, say, Jacob's turning heel, even though Steen's not really a heel, at least not in Ring of Honor since, you know, people still love him. So, I mean, I I think I can see this as a big angle. I'm going to stay on the safe side and just say Kevin Steen wins, but I could see it's something bigger than that. Yeah, um, I'm going to go with, I think Kevin Steen wins here, too. I think he continues with the momentum he has. I don't really see Jimmy Jimmy Jacobs doing really too much. I mean, I could see him turning heel again or whatever, but he's done the heel thing so many times. Um, it is still scheduled that Steve Carino is on the, sh- the card he sh- or on the show, at least. That is true. So it, there is there is a possibility of an angle laying out there um, with Steve Carino and, and you know, laying in the, the wings possibly to do something. But, um, yeah, I mean, the match quality, uh, I mean, this could go to a, a really good brawl. I mean, they could brawl out in the crowd. They could do this. They could do that. Um, I really get the feeling of the 10th anniversary really just reminding me of the 9th anniversary where I, you know I was at live and I was just it was just a kind of it really felt like a B show like they had you know a street fight and they had tag matches that main evented and it just it just it, you'd think that for their 10th anniversary they would really do something you know worth a damn even though they're they're getting ready to do their you know showdown the sun shows but this this I could see this going to a solid brawl but I really don't see a lot of these matches on here Going to some kind of ridiculous links or extents because two weeks, three weeks later, they're they're running their t- their you know two big shows, um, WrestleMania weekend. So I would hope to see something a little bit out of this. Right. I mean, I mean, the only thing, the big question I have is how do you kill the fucking zombie princess? Hmm. I mean, that's the biggest question I've got out of all this. So I guess we're going to video see wire. I, if you want to know what that means, th- check out the Ring of Honor yeah, video, video wire. Video wire. Yeah. Kevin Steen's going to kill the fucking zombie princess, as hmm. Jimmy Jacobs would like to call himself. We're going to see. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Next match, our first title match out of only two title matches of the night, the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Jay Lethal, not doing the Macho Man gimmick, defends against the dominant male, Tommaso Ciampa, with the Embassy Limited. Now, I actually watched the January 28th, I guess, version of ROH TV, and before that, I saw a promo by Tommaso Ciampa, which is really good. It got me into his character, honestly. I mean, he's not the greatest wrestler, but but I could I could get behind him. I could back the guy. I think the guy, he kind of reminds me as a young Austin Aries in a sense of promo-wise. He's not near as good in the ring, but I really see Tommaso Ciampa taking the strap here. Yeah, no, I would, I would completely agree. I think the embassy has done so much, and they've done all these promos, and they have all these managers, and they've done this and done that, and carried all these angles and they they really haven't got anything out of it they really haven't got any reward or anything so it seems like you know giving chomp of the strap here would make sense this really pay-per-view really seems like a you know a bumping up the young guys up the ladder kind of match you know uh, i could see Ciampa, you know winning the title here lethal possibly going on to the main event with jared generico not being there you got you know colin o'reilly in the main event you got 
uh, Mike Bennett looks like he's going to beat a veteran in Homicide, and, and I would hope to see him be, win clean, actually, because that would even just get me even more heat. But, um, yeah, out of this match, I would expect this to be good. You know, I think Lethal could pull, pull a really good match out of Ciampa, and Ciampa's not a bad wrestler, really. He's just... He just not, and we go back to the same thing with Bennett. He just not up to that Ring of Honor like standard in the ring, as you know, fans are so used to seeing. But I would expect this to be, I would, I would expect this to be the best singles match on the show. I mean, I'm at least interested to see who wins. I may not, I don't know if it'd be the best. I think, I think Steen and Jacobs is going to be the best singles match if we can consider a brawl a match. But uh, you know, I, I'm excited to see this. I'm actually, I'm actually intrigued by that. All right, next we have the ROH World Tag Team Championship. The Briscoe Brothers, J. and Mark Briscoe, not bolting for Ring of Honor like we incorrectly covered earlier. Our bads. You weren't a part of that video, so I guess it's not really your bad. My bad. I wanted to cover the story, so whatever. You guys can go fuck yourselves. J. and Mark Briscoe defend against the Young Bucks. Now, I think this match, this, this might be the hardest match to pick because I think the Young Bucks have a serious shot at the titles here. But considering J.M.R. Briscoe just won them a final battle, I think J.M.R. Briscoe keep their straps here. Hold on to the titles. I think they're one of the hottest acts Ring of Honor has right now. Their promos are hilarious. You know, they're so over with the crowd. You know, when, when your hottest act is... I mean, they're, they're probably the hottest act, not just one of the hottest acts. They're probably the hottest acts. When the hot, your hottest act is a tag team. I mean, that's saying something. That just shows how special these two are and, and, and how much they embody what Ring of Honor actually is and what Ring of Honor actually stands for. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, other than Kevin Steen, there's really nobody else that's that as hot as, as these guys are. Promos, everyone loves these guys. The in-ring work, the veteranship that they, they carry. Um, I definitely don't see these guys losing the straps. I see a good, good, like, very good tag match out of this. And I think, you know, some of the lower card matches aren't going to get a lot of time. So I think this match could get a, some, a significant 25, maybe 30 minutes. And I, I really would hope to see that, and I really hope a good, to see a good match out of this. But I don't see a feud continuing here or anything. I, I might see a feud continuing, but I mean, I, like I said, I think it's going to be a good match too. I don't know if it'll get 25, 30. I think it might get 20. I actually think the main event is going to get the 25 or 30, which is Team Ambition of Ring of Honor World Champion David B. Richards and Kyle O'Reilly versus Die Hard Eddie Edwards and Adam Cole. With Kozina in their corner, can't be Team Ambition. With Kozina. Yeah. With Kozina. Um, you know, I, the more I think about this match, the more just super intrigued I become by it. Just thinking about the possible storylines that could ha happen in this match, it's gotten me very excited about it. I know I was all about hating on it, you know, that, hey, Richards isn't defending the title. But I actually kind of have just grown to enjoy the whole idea and concept of it. Now, watching Team Ambition's promo, which if you want to go to Ring of Honor on YouTube and watch Team Ambition's promo, it's fucking horrible. It's just terrible. It's just horrendously bad. It'll make you not even want to watch the match. The Eddie Edwards and Adam Cole one, though, is pretty good. But in the long run, and I know this might be going against the grain, I see Team Ambition winning here. Uh, I think you got to keep your champ, David Richards, strong. I think Kyle O'Reilly might even pull out the win somehow. I think the finish could even come down to O'Reilly maybe upsetting Edwards, possibly, or Richard beating Cole, one or the other. That's how I see it going. Um, I see at the end of the show possibly Steen coming out. I think they might set up uh, Richard Steen their first match at you know the showdown showdown in the whatever it is the Sunflower State. I don't fucking know what it's called. <laughs> showdown in the sun. <laughs> showdown in the sun. There you go. I don't fucking know which state is the Sunflower State. But yeah, that's how I see it going. I, th I think Team Ambition wins, and I think Kevin Steen comes out and ends the show with a promo or a beat down or something like that. Yeah, I see this being the exact opposite. I see. I think Adam Cole. Gets the gets the sneak pin on Davy Richards. Um, ah, yeah, I, I, I would love that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the only thing I care about in this match is is a, a, you know following. I'm become just a just the hugest Adam Cole fan. I, he's literally the only person I really just care about watching in this match. I mean, I've seen all the other guys you know a hundred times in the same quality type of match. You know, and Kyle O'Reilly is just a Davy Richards knockoff. It, it really is the truth, but. <laughs> Adam Cole is is what I'm hoping to see get a giant push out of this. And if I, mean, I was there right now, I would just high five you for your love for Adam Cole right now. <laughs> just can we You're do a five. Skype five? I'm, I mean, I'm five in the screen right now. Just five. I'm me too. I'm five in my phone screen right now. All right. Well, we got 20 seconds, so we're gonna gonna get out of here. But um, yeah, let us know what you guys think about the uh, preview here, Mr. Sheer. You got a quick second to say something? Ten seconds here. Just not at all. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're gonna get out of here. RSDS Express Wrestling. Tag Wars 2012. Tag Wars 2012. Catch it, guys. Peace.